Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. What's up, you guys? This is Devin with Century Effects Studios TV, back with another video. And today we're testing the Sennheiser AVX system, and I'm actually plugging it into the Tascam Porter Capture X6 here. So this is the receiving device for the Sennheiser, and it's plugged into my Tascam um, X, Porter Capture X6 via XLR. Now, XLR is always a higher quality cable or um, termination or input because the XLR is a shielded and, and it, it's just better. It's just better. It, it, it resists interference and all this other stuff within the connection and you don't have a loss of quality through your cabling. So, plugging the XLR into the Portacapture X6 should be one of the best ways to actually utilize the Sennheiser um, system here. Now, I'm looking at my levels here on the um, Tascam Porter Capture X6, and I'm getting it right around negative 13 dB. Um, let me go to my input here, and uh, my gain is at plus 20. I'm going to bring it up to about plus 21, and I'm getting... Um, a, uh, a readout of about negative 9 dB, this 11 dB, this kind of thing. And so there's that. So I'm going to leave it about right there. I'm going to look at um, the, um, the gain button here. It's actually called AF out, which means, I think, audio frequency out. And I'm going to just uh, trim it here. It's actually at the 1, but I can go up here all the way to, uh, oh, that must be clipping. Uh, all the way to four, this is three, this is two, and this is one. So I'm thinking that that will be a better, more ideal range to utilize the Sennheiser AVX system because you don't want anything working too hard to achieve the signal that you need. If I were going to use any preamps, I wouldn't use the preamps from this device. I'll probably use the preamps from the task cam. And so that's why I have it at plus 20. And this device has bigger components in it, it's new, it has 32-bit float, everybody loves 32-bit float. So now I have a Sennheiser AVX system that is included with 32-bit float. As long as I don't clip the signal chain right here from the microphone to this, in which I'm not because this is all the way down at its lowest level, and I'm getting signal levels in the green. Understanding about signal to noise ratio is very, very important. And I don't want the Sennheiser system working too hard. If anything, I put all the weight on this in which it has 32-bit float. And as long as I'm getting levels in the green right around negative 9, uh, this between negative 12 and negative 6 dB, I'm perfectly fine. Even if I laugh, ha, ha, ha. Not going too high there. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. I'm getting all the way up to about negative 8 dB, and that'll be perfect. If I feel as though I need to raise the levels up in post, or I need to normalize it to like a negative 26 dB, I can do that. But making sure that I get full, clean signal, and no device within the signal chain is working too hard, is optimal. Now, I had it plugged into the camera at one point, but there's a reason, and most people need to understand this if they don't understand it already. There's a reason why you shouldn't use your camera's inbuilt microphone because the camera's inbuilt microphone doesn't sound good. We're in a very reverberant room, hard, um, let's see, hard walls here, sound bouncing off of everywhere, and I won't be able to hear myself. So imagine if I were doing something else, and that sound was competing with my voice, and other sounds were competing with my voice. Well, the, the, the Sennheiser Lavalier microphone is right here on me. It doesn't have to compete with anything to get to my voice pretty much. It's only like three inches, four inches, five inches off of my chest here. But if I had, if I was using the recording from the microphone, the microphone is all the way, it has to be about 10 feet, 14 feet away from me, the microphone inside the camera. So the microphone inside the camera has to compete with all the sound in between me and the camera. Now, if I could talk directly into the microphone on the camera, that would be optimal, but that's why we get this pretty hefty price Sennheiser AVX system. This AVX system with this Sennheiser MKE microphone is an optimal system because the sound, the, the original source, the, you know, the, the original source signal, which is my voice, 
is right beside the microphone. And so you can tune it strictly for my voice and nothing else. See, so notice when I get quiet, you can't really hear much things around me. I wasn't even getting any levels on the task cam at that point. And I know that there is a college drumming on drums far away from me. I can hear it in my ear, but the Sennheiser device here can't hear it. And the Sennheiser AVX system might be doing some padding or, or attenuating because they know that my voice is not being um, utilized at that point in time. But it's optimal not to hear anything if I'm quiet. It's optimal to hear my voice only if I'm talking. So how do you guys think it sounds uh, coming straight into the task cam and being synced in post? And one good thing about this is that this is such a convenient device. You can rotate it around, bang, and have like this. I could put this on a table and forget about it. I can have this plugged up into this, into this, uh, this input and then have other microphones being picked up from other places and all of it coming into this device and me being able to mix it in and mix it just the way I want it to be. So say for example, I was doing a video and I was uh, recording audio or sound effects while I was speaking. I could do that, you see what I'm saying? So these are things that you don't think about. You could be talking with more than one person. Maybe I was um, filming a model, which I'm probably gonna be filming a model later this spring and she's gonna have a microphone, I'm gonna have a microphone. And they're all gonna be ported into this device if I want it to. I might use the AVX and the Tascam DR10L in which I'm recording with right now. The Tascam doesn't have any kind of XLR IO on it at all, input output for those of you who don't know. And so since the Tascam doesn't have that, I'm talking about the Tascam DR10L, not the X8 or the X6. Since it doesn't have that, you're at the whim of whatever it does. What sounds better? The camera itself, the Tascam, which is right beside these two microphones here. You got the Sennheiser, Tascam, Sennheiser here. Now the Tascam doesn't have a windscreen, but there's not a lot of wind in here, so. Or do you like the Sennheiser AVX system? Tell me in the comments below. I felt like the Tascam sounded a little bit thinner, uh, but it sounded great. Um, it really, really matches up well with the AVX system. I thought the AVX system matched my voice a lot better because the AVX system had a little bit boosted in the mids and the lows. So that's something to think about as well. I'm Devin with Century Effects Studios TV. If you're trying to get a Tascam, Porta Capture X6, or if you're trying to get a Sennheiser microphone, the AVX system with the MKE lavalier microphone, if you're trying to get the Tascam DR10L, the original or the Pro, Links are in the description below. Stay tuned for the next video and I will see you there.